Genji? Are you okay? Yes, master. I am sorry for disappearing. Do not be sorry. Though it is currently two degrees Celsius, aren't you cold? It is fine. It is similar to the snow from the Swiss base. The cold against the last parts of my face reminds me of the man that I still am. And am not. They were like a family to me, I suppose. But every moment reminded me of the parts of me that were not human. And now, even here, I do not know. I fear I will never be long. Do you think I have a soul, Genji? Hmm? Ah, I did not mean to alarm you, nor distract from your thoughts. I'll ask for your opinion because I myself am not sure. We are told often as omnics that a soul is what defines a being, but I do not exactly agree. Humans have always asked us, how can we believe an omnic has good intentions when their coding shapes who they are? A human can do good deeds for good sake, but an omnic will do it because they are ordered. And orders have changed in the past. And my brothers rebelled. No, they said, we are just like you. All of us are the same underneath. But the humans had a point. We are not the same. At our core, we are vastly different beings. But that does not make us less. We bicker, we love, we hurt. We think, therefore we are, but they cling to things that make us sane, that make us human. We are unique in our existence. Why do we try to prove that we are not? There is nothing like you, Genji. It is hard, I understand. But it is not wrong. It is not ugly. I hope you feel proud of that someday. I hope you let your individuality set you free. I will join the others for meditation soon. Shall I bring you some tea? Now, head inside. I will join you, Master.